So hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to solve the problem Knight in Geekland. So Knight is at start x, start y position in Geekland, which is represented by an n cross m 2 d matrix. So each cell in the matrix contains some points. So in the ith step, the Knight can collect all the points from all the cells that can be visited in exactly i steps without revisiting any cell. Yes, this is important thing that we do not have to visit the cell again. Okay. Also, the Knight has a magical power that enables him to fetch coins from the future. That is, if Knight can collect Y coins in the X step, he can fetch all the coins in X, X plus Y step also. That means if uh, currently he's at, he's at X position and he has Y coins here, so he can collect all the points at X plus Y position as well. I will tell you. Okay, so we have to find the minimum number of steps required to collect the maximum. So let's understand the question. Let's understand the question step by step. So first understand what is night move. So night move is something like you have seen the chessboard. So in the chessboard, night move is something like it moves in eight positions at a time. So in one step, he can move to uh, eight positions. Let's say night is here. So what he can do, he can move two step above and one step here. Okay, so that means if he had x comma y position, he can go two step above. That means x minus two and one step right. So x minus two comma y y plus one. Okay. Similarly, he can go two step above and one step left. So two steps above here and then one step left. Two step above x minus two, one step left x minus one. Similarly, he can go two step below and one steps right. Okay, so similarly, he can go two steps below, one step right. So here he can go x, uh, two step below, one step right. And here also, two step below, x plus two, from x to x plus two, and one step right, x minus, y minus one. Similarly, from here, he can go two step, one step above, and two steps right. That means from x comma y, he can go two step above, then one step above, then two step right. That means, x minus 1 for 1 step above and 2 step right y plus 2. Okay. Similarly, in these position, he can go 1 step below, 2 step right. Similarly, 1 step below, 2 steps left. Similarly, 1 step above, 2 step left. So, these 8 position he can move to. So, how can we move? I will tell you like we will create an array. And so, these, posi these 8 positions knight can move so this is you need to know like in the chessboard knight can move to from one position one step to a to these eight positions now let's come to the question what we have to do so let's change the question for some time let's forget the question basically so we were we doing let's say i am at zero step so i will tell you how many coins that i collect in zero step in one step in two step in three step in four step in five step in six step and so on okay so let's say at zero step i am here that means how many coins I can collect here? Two. Okay. Now, in one step, knight can move in these eight ways. As I said above, these eight ways. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, let's say now this knight can move two step above. Then one step right. Okay. So, eight coins. Similarly, two step above, one step right. This is the first step. In first step, he can move to eight position. These eight, these four positions will be outside. These will not be taken. Similarly, if I go two step above, two, one step above, two step right. Similarly, one step above, two steps left. So these also positions are outside. So we will not take these positions which are outside the matrix. So we have two positions in one step. That is one is here, eight, and one is here, seven. So I will say in zero and step, we have two coins. In one and step, in one and step, I can reach here, seven, eight. That is 15 coins. Okay. Now, now these are visited. Let's cross it. Let's cross it. Let's cross it. Okay. Now let's rub these extra things that I used to explain. Now, rub, rub. okay. Now, currently I am at seven and I am at eight. So from this seven, where I can go? Two step below, one step here. But I have already said that we don't have to revisit the cell again. So this position is invalid. Again, I can go two step below, one step left. This position is outside. Two, uh, one step below, two step left, position is outside. One step below, two step right. So this is right. Okay. So four coins are taken in third step, second step basically. Okay. Now similarly, 
uh, I am at zero step. I am moved here and here. Okay. Now I am at one step. At one step, I am at these two position. So from this position, I can go at eight position above two, which are invalid, obviously, as I said, and below four, which are obviously only one is valid because if I go to this, this is already visited, and if I go to this, this position, this is invalid. So I have only one position that is valid for. Similarly, I was at zero step here. I am at one step here. So this one step will move this. Similarly, this will also be considered one step that where he can move. He can go to above four, which is also invalid. And he can go to below four, like here, invalid. Here, uh, uh, already visited cell. Here, yes, he can take nine. So that means at two step where I can uh, go. At I am at nine and I am at four. Okay. So that means four plus nine is equal to 13. So at two -edge step, I have taken 13 points. Okay. Similarly, from nine comma four, where I can go? From nine, I can go above. Obviously, no. Down, obviously, no. So from nine, one step below, two step right. Yes. Similarly, from this four, I can go one step below, two step right. Okay. So this will give me, this is visited, this is visited, six and eight. So I will say, okay, at third step, I have six and eight, that is 14 points. Other position will be invalid only. Now, now from 6 and 8. Now let's rub this. These all things. Okay. Now, currently I am at 6 and 8. Now at third, at third step, I am at 6 and 8. Okay. At third step. Now from 6, I can go this. I can go here. So only one time it is visited. So we will take 6 coin here as it is. Okay. Now, now we are done. This is also visited. This is also visited. Now 6 can go here. 6 can go to 4 above position in valid. 6 can go here. Obviously, they are already visited. 6 can go here, which is invalid. So we will say, we are done. Now we can't visit any of the cell. So, okay, this is my end. So that means in 5 step, I will go to 0. I will take 0 0.6 step, 0 0.70. So all will be 0 points. Okay. Now, now the question arises that, what I have done, I have done like at 0 step, I can collect 2 coin and 1 step, I can collect 15 coins. At 2 step, I can collect 13 coin and 3rd step, I can collect 14 coins. At 4 step, I can collect 6 coins. Okay. Now, now let's say I am at here 0 step. Now, if I had 0 step, how many coins I have 2 coins? So, okay. I will say that if I have 2 coins, collect them and say I can go 2 step forward. Because I have 2 coins, I will move 2 step forward. Okay. Now, at two step forward, I am two with index. Okay. Now, here is 13 coins. So, I will say, okay, add these 13 coins to our pocket. That is, this will become 15 coins. Now, from here, I have 13 coins. So, I can move 13 step forward. So, if I go 13 step forward, all will be zero. All will be zero. Okay. So, if I reach any of the zero, let's say I have reached seven, I reach zero. So, here we have no coins. So, we can't move forward. So, we will break it. That means, from 0 -th step, in 0 -th step, I can collect 15 coins. Okay. So I am again repeating. Like I at 0 -th step, I have 2 coins. So I can move 2 step forward. I have 13 coins. I will take this in pocket also. Now I will move 13 step. Uh, obviously, I have 0 coins. So at 0 coins, if I reach here, so 0. So 0 coins can't make me move forward. I will be there as well. Because I can't move forward. Because I have 0 coins. In 13 step, I can move 13 step forward. So similarly, if I take 1 step. One step will take 15 coins. Now for 15 coins, I can move 15 step forward. So obviously, I will move to 0 only. So obviously, 15 coins will remain as it is. Because if it is 0, I can move forward there. Similarly, in 2 coins, I can reach 13. Because I've moved 13 step forward, we have 0. In 3, we have 14. Because if I move 14 step forward, we will have 0 coin. So we have only 14 coins. Similarly, in 4 step, we have 6 coins. So I will say, okay, I can move six coins forward. Using six coins, I can move six step forward. But if I go six step forward, I will be at zero. So six coin remain as it is. Now, what is the maximum number of coins? 15. Okay, out of them, 15 is maximum number of coins. So zero give maximum number of coins. One give maximum number of coins. Out of them, which is minimum? Zero. Zero is the answer. So this is a question. We have to take the coins and we will move two step forward. Now, I will again take coins. We will move 13 step forward. And after that, I will, whatever coins I have get, I have to find the maximum. And for every maximum coin, I will take minimum number of steps. That is zero. Zero minimum steps. So we have to find like this. 
okay so how can we approach this like two step forward three step forward obviously i will apply normal bfs breakfast search okay so let's apply okay so initially what i have uh first thing i will make the knights move area that i have eight positions so eight position like two step above uh two step above two step above two step down two step down okay similarly uh similarly i can go one step above one step above one step down one step down okay as i said the position similarly d by eight is equal to uh since i move two step above so one step down one similarly minus one one two minus two two minus two okay so these eight positions if you search like if you see this uh whatever this positions i've created from x minus two i am adding like this now okay now now what i've created so first thing that you need to know that what is uh, n is array dot size m is equals to l zero dot size to get the size of the matrix now since i do not have to revisit any cell so i will create a uh, vector of bool so that i do not visit any cell visited of n comma vector bool m comma zero so i am not visiting i have not visited any cell yet i will create a queue of pair indent so that i have to move with the index x comma y and initially i will add s x comma s y so i am uh, shortening this variable s x and s y okay now i am marking instead of s x and s y s two that i have taken this variable okay now now i am creating a points array the whatever array that i have created here i am creating this array normally so i will create a points array now what can be the size of the points array okay so what can be the size of the point array that i can create so in this matrix in this matrix how many length of the array that we can have 10 is to power 3 total length of the array so that means i can say that at most i can move to 10 is to power 3 points from here i can move to this point similarly from any point i can move up to since i have 10 is to power 3 size array so i can move up to 10 is to power 3 points like from here i can move here from here i can move here from here i can move here so we have 10 is to power 3 points so let's do this we have 1 e 3 plus 1 comma 0 okay initially now initially steps is equals to 0 now until the queue becomes empty so first we take let's say queue size is this that means i am taking 0 at step element so until i took 0 at step element let's say i have a queue uh, why i am taking a queue like let's say i have 0 at step element like 1 a now at 1 at step i have 3 elements so similarly at 2 at step i have let's say 4 elements so i will travel queue size until my 1 at step elements are here i will travel queue size until my 2 at step elements are here so i will say okay if x is equal to q front first and if y is equal to q front second for every step i make and q i will pop out from the queue now what i was doing for every step let's say i am uh, at 2 so i will take these points at zero step i have two points let's say i am at one inch step so at one inch step where i was moving i was moving to these two positions these two so i will add these two position answer so basically when will i will be traveling this one size q i have two elements seven and eight so i will add this in answer of one seven plus eight whenever i will be traveling i will add this in number of step that is at one inch step i have two coins okay so i will say okay whatever i have created points array so at current step whatever the elements are number of coins i will add them in my answer now now for every position i can give at most eight position now it can move here so current x value will be equal to uh, x whatever is the x value here and then eight position i have created the array dx of v that is eight positions similarly y can move like current of y is equals to y plus dy of k now if current x is less than zero i am adding in valid position if it less than zero or current x is greater than n exceeding the matrix or it is already visited because i don't have to visit the revisit the cell so i will say okay 
if they are already visited or any of these conditions are found, just do content because I don't have to do. Okay. Now I will mark if it is not, then just mark that there have visited that cell and add this in queue that at next level it will be used because that next step that is the number of the coins I have attained, I am adding a queue. Okay. Now at every after every step I have covered, let's say zero step covered. I will do steps plus plus. Now I have one. So one step covered. Steps plus plus two. Two steps covered. Just I am doing like this video. I can store something like queue, pair, intent, comma, int for steps. But I am reducing the complexity of the question using this. That I am traveling queue size. So that uh, I am covering like one step, two step, three step like that. Okay. Whatever coins I have attained, one step, two step, three step. That I am okay, considering. So initially answer is the index. Let's remain it as it is. And maximum variable is y9. That is maximum number of coins that I can take. So zero, uh, from zero, I can go until 183, as I said. And for that, let's say my current position is i. Okay. So for every element, what I'm doing, what I'm doing, my total points, let's say, currently are zero. So as I said, as I said, let's say this is my area. So it has two, 15, 13, 14, 6. So I will say, okay, at zero step F2, I will move two step forward. So whatever coins I have, take it. Okay. So initially, let's say I am at I. So I will say, okay. So, um, yes, I will say until current become 1 in 3. Till then, take all the coins. Okay. So I will take the coins until the current become uh, 1 in 3. So I will add the points current of uh, whatever are the points that is current points because let's say I move let's say I'm initially here let's say I'm initially here I will take two now I go two step forward my current will become two now I will take 13 so similarly I'm doing let's say add those points and also add those points for shifting the uh, pointer that means I have taken two coins and let's move two step forward only I have taken 13 coin let's move 13 step forward only that I'm doing. okay. Now after that, okay. Now whatever is the value that I've obtained for the current uh, step, I will add it in current as if it is not required. This time adding, you can add or you cannot. It's up to you. So if I add it, so what I will do? I will check if points of i is greater than the previous maximum. Okay. So let's take this maximum and take the minimum index. So whenever I found new maximum, then only we will take minimum index. That's why. Otherwise, I will take, if it is equal, then it will take maximum index. If at one step, if same maximum found, it will take one. But I have to take only at one minimum index. Okay. Now, we will return the answer as it is here. So I think this is why. Let's compile it in the code. Uh, yes, one condition I have missed. Okay. Now, one condition that I missed, if, uh, if my points of current is equal to equal to zero. That means I have no coin. So I will remain here as it is. And this loop will uh, this loop will remain in infinite. This will become endless loop. So because if I am zero, I will always add zero. So zero current will remain as it is. So I have to add this condition if points of current is equal to equal to zero. Then just break out. Okay. Next thing is uh, here are some error like Q front, not second. And uh, here is steps. Okay. Let's compare it in the code again. So, visited array. I have declared a uh, visited. So, let's make this this okay. Now, compile it in again. So, this was the code. Let's submit the code. If check if working fine. So, yes, it's totally working fine. So, this question was all about like uh, doing the DFS, then just uh, go with go with the taking the coins after every step by moving forward okay so this was all about code so if you like the explanation please like share and subscribe to my channel so thank you and have a nice day